Hey everybody, I'm back with another comic book haul. Uh, this video is going to have a bunch of books that I've picked up over the past couple of weeks that uh, I think 90% of what I've picked up here are going to be dollar books. Uh, but they're really cool ones. I also um, won a contest um, for Night Tigers um, live stream. Uh, I won some books during that which will be in this video as well. Um, but I did pick up some current books from my local shop and it's uh, some Perillo covers, shock. Um, so we got Vampirella number one, uh, Dead Flowers. We got the Ultraviolet variant, I believe, and the Virgin to that. We also picked up Vampirella Dracula Rage number two. We got the regular. We got the ultraviolet. And we got the virgin ultraviolet. I am hoping that this one stops soon. Because my, my shop, he pulls every Perillo book for me, which is cool. But uh, it's starting to add up and it's killing me. Uh, I just spent uh, these books that I'm about to show. I spent 80 bucks, and I, I, if I'm going to spend 80 bucks on books, I'd rather it be vintage stuff. But uh, we got Gargoyles number 10. I absolutely love this cover. Uh, Red Sonia number three. So if I can zoom in on that, just to, I mean, look at that. That's just awesome. That is a great cover. Um, and then I got the ultraviolet variant, virgin variant. I wish it was this in a virgin, but I got that one. And then got this weird sepia toned variant for the book as well. So got those. Sorry, I'm just playing around. I got a new iPhone and uh, I'm playing around with it. And yet there's another version of the book. So I got four versions of the same cover. And that's why it's killing me. But I want all three of them. Go figure. Uh, then we got a couple other current things. We got Victory Issue 4. I think that this is just a, a, a reused image from another book he did. Then we got Vampirella Dead Flowers number two. Oh, hold up. Wait. Huh. That's weird. Okay, so this is issue one and that was issue two. Um, I got a feeling that a regular issue of this is going to be coming that he probably is ordering for me. And the next time I go to pick up books, that will be there. Then we got Red Sonia number four, another awesome Perillo cover, and the Ultraviolet. And then Sheena, Queen of the Dun of the Jungle, uh, number two, and the Ultraviolet. These ultraviolet covers are actually pretty cool. So, add those to the ever-growing pile of books that I never read and they're strictly cover buys. Um, went to the flea market. I just grabbed this. Um, it's a movie that I've heard a lot about over the years. If, you know, if just from listening to Howard Stern, back when Howard Stern was funny. Uh, Artie Lang's Beer League. So I will be watching this finally. Um, looking forward to that. A couple of videos ago, um, I had mentioned that I picked up a book on eBay that was shown in um, Pop Fun to Play's channel. And, you know, I'll just do a little... little thing right here one of those little card things and it never shows up where your fingers hanging out but uh to his channel um but he had shown this book um it's the first appearance of rick and morty in comics 
Let me just get a little closer. And it was a, um, it came with a, a DVD. And I like collecting those um, DVD comics. I also picked up this book um, from the Goodwill, actually, just the other day. Uh, it's a book that I've been looking for for a little while. Batman Begins. This came with one of the uh, the DV the bat the, you know the DVD versions of the movie. One of the multiple. So happy to cross that off the list. I've been grabbing these Xena photo covers recently, and there was another version of this book there, and it, it was an Adam Hughes cover, and I didn't even recognize the art until I opened this book up and saw the uh, Adam Hughes pinup. And it was the same cover image. So I was like, ah, oh. so that stunk. I would love to go back and get that. Maybe it'll be there next weekend when I go, if that seller is still there. And then I pick this up every time I see it, Batman Superman number 23. Then here's just some other dollar books that I got um, from the flea market. Fantastic Four, 346, has something to do with the Time Variance Authority. Just an Adam Hughes X-Men classic. Here's a book that I, I just rescued from the dollar bin. Um, Spider-Man number 48, no, 88. This thing is beat. Look at that. But, uh, you know, it'll be a good placeholder for now. I didn't have this copy, this this uh, this book. The camera's off here. Hold on a second. Not off, but it's, it's kind of not level Let's see if i can use something to prop that up real quick i gotta get a better setup should have been doing this before i started filming if it takes me too much longer i'm gonna redo the video here we go so I got that for a dollar. Boy, focused on that book entirely too long. This is a book that I like picking up books that I've seen other people show on YouTube. And uh, this was making the rounds a long time ago. And I finally found a copy. It's uh, like a prototype for um, the Cosmic Ghost Rider. There's a Punisher there as the Ghost Rider. So found that. Found a, an autographed uh, book in the dollar bin at my local shop, signed by Aaron uh, Cooter. Green Lantern New Guardians, signed by him right down there. Then some Thor issues that I needed uh, from the last run. So we got uh, issue 35 and issue 34. 34 is the variant cover. Love Michael Turner. This book was um, popular a little while ago. I think it was the first cover appearance of Hawkeye and Kate Bishop together. But love Turner art. Grab those. And then I got uh, American Vampire number one. Found two copies of that. Making some room for some more. All right, now the books that I got from Night Tiger Comics. Um, Mike, thank you for these books. These are cool. First, I sent him a book. Um, we did a trade. I forgot what we did. But when I sent him the books, yeah, we did a trade. Um, I sent him some books, and I also asked him if he could press a book for me. and Because uh, I love this book. It had some water damage to it. Um, it had some ripples and he he pressed them right out so thank you mike for doing that for me i appreciate it but he also sent me this uh i don't know what country it's from he didn't write it on here i don't think he did but uh i like halloween books for my wall display so that'll be displayed next halloween he also sent and these were all like Halloween themed books including these issues of Detective uh, 540 The Scarecrow 550 
53 early black mask appearance. And then I don't have many Ghost Rider books, um, but he sent me, this is awesome. Marvel Spotlight number 10, I guess what's the fifth, maybe the fifth appearance of Ghost Rider. Did he, he normally writes on the back what, he, what these things are. First appearance of Witch Woman, but an early Ghost Rider appearance. So that's sweet. House of Secrets, number 116. It does seem like I'm far away in this video. Let's get closer. Here we go. Uh, Dead of Night, number three. And Marvel Spotlight, 18, The Son of Satan. Again, thank you, Michael. I appreciate it. So, went to the flea market. One of a different flea market a couple of weekends ago. Found some insane dollar books. Um, variants. Um, ratio variants. For a buck a piece. So we got... These were popular not, too, not that long ago. Uh, Nightwing number 28. It's either a 1 in 20 or 1 in 25. The Steampunk uh, cover. Green Lantern Corps, tw Corpse 28. Like this one. Justice League Dark number 28. I was hoping to find the Wonder Woman one or the Batgirl one. Those ones I would have really loved. Um, but we got Batman Superman number 8. Steampunk Flash 28. Superman, 28, and Justice League, 28. And then we got um, Dark Knight's Metal, number five, the Jim Lee cover, and number five, the, this, I think this one was a store exclusive by, uh, I want to say Del Otto, but it may not be Del Otto. But great dollar books. And then Superman Wonder Woman number three. This one's got a slight issue. It's got a, a corner. It was dropped. Not by me. By somebody else who had it before me. But uh, buck dollar finds. Great stuff. I guess if I keep finding stuff like this, I'm going to just keep digging in dollar books. Dollar bins couple of weekends ago maybe a month ago there was a, a show at the uh, you know here in New Jersey close to my house and I did grab some books and some 50 cent books I grabbed pit number two the reason why I grabbed it only because it's a newsstand for 50 cents uh, Ghost Rider 25 a water damaged copy of Marvel premiere 13 I have this already, but I didn't want to leave it. Uh, Batman 435. Uh, another copy of Grimjack, number 26. This is the first color appearance of Ninja Turtles in comics. Doctor Strange, number 3. I don't know if this is from a mini series or the main title. I'll have to go look. But newsstand. And then, this was a cool 50 cent find. Uh, Captain America, number one, the uh, Chris Evans photo variant. Very cool. Just a few more. So we got a, these were dollar books. Amazing Spider-Man, number 15. I think this is a, a one in 15 or one in 10 variant. Just a nice uh, high grade Bronze Age DC book. It's a reprint of some sort. I think this was the coolest stealth find of the show for me. DC Spotlight. It's the preview of The Watchmen. Uh, this is a uh, Jose Garcia Lopez wraparound cover. Um, very cool. First time I ever saw this book was in a Vincrew video. So I found that for a dollar. I paid half off on this book. I think he had 14 on it. I got it for seven. And then these were awesome. I've said it a million times. I'm a Michael Turner fan. 
but we found the Civil War variants by Michael Turner for a buck. So we got number seven, number six, number five, and number four. I had a couple of these already, but again, just great finds for a dollar. Captain America 220, just a high grade uh, Bronze Age Marvel book. Wasn't leaving that for a dollar. The um, Adventures of Superman 14, just a cool jock cover. Low print of Rye number five. It's a low print, but I have three copies of this already. And that last show that I was at, I handed a copy of this to my friend Joe to pick up that, we, that I had found in a dollar bin. So maybe it's not as low print as uh, people make it out to be. If I, I'm seen to be finding it pretty easy. Always grab these when I see them. I love, miss this title, this, this magazine, Toy Fair magazine. Just loved that. Loved Wizard magazine as well. I grabbed this. Um, the reason why I grabbed it, there is a Dave Stevens pinup or art piece in here that he had did for Dolphin. I'm going to show it. Where is it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here it is. That's awesome. Love Dave Stevens. I got that. Add that to my Dave Stevens collection. Another artist that I absolutely love is Jenny Frizen. Um, so we got Red Sonia number one. I think this is for the current run. Another book that was making the rounds a year or so ago, uh, World War Hulk, Hulk Gamma Corps. Uh, all these characters' first appearances, maybe their only appearances. I'm not 100% sure on that, but this book doesn't have the steam that it once did. And then we got Scalped, number 43. It's a first appearance of a character that's big in Southern Bastards. Um, so that was cool. And then... Rounding up the hall, my friend Joe gave me that Popeye book, and uh, he had pre-ordered this for me, and I had totally forgotten. Uh, just a great Lucio Perillo cover for Essencia number 18. So that's it. Um, my next haul video will be... There's a 50% uh, off sale coming uh, this coming weekend. I don't I probably won't air this video until the Friday before that so when you're watching this the next morning I'll be out at the crack of dawn just getting in line and waiting in line to go buy some books that I probably don't need for 50% off but um, fear of missing out so want to go hopefully grab some stuff that I'll need for the collection and that's it guys thanks for watching and um, I'm closing in on 2100 subs I'm just a few subs away so for my channel being dead for a little while I'm making some getting some subscribers again and uh, who knows I may have a contest video because I have a bunch of books that are doubles including some of the books that I just got from that uh, that shop that had all those amazing dollar books so we'll see uh, maybe I'll do a contest video uh, entry thing and give out what give away some cool books so thanks again for watching and uh, bye for now